Hello everyone, it's Kurt Vey here today, and uh, whoa, they changed the intro screen. Interesting. Uh, I took a screenshot. I don't know if that worked, but they added 8th grade. You're graduating soon. Grade 8. Okay, well, let's not even read it. Let's just hope that I'm good at it. I'm also going to mute the audio just in case. Not my camera sensitivity. I need that to obby. Okay, um, leave a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the series. And if you're not enjoying the series, don't leave a like. I just fell. Okay, anyway, uh, we have sta new stages. Video gaming. I don't know why I'm struggling commentating right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. All right, let's see what we got to do. What? Ooh, uh. I'm assuming... Is that... Does that mean multiplication? Or does that mean exponent? Oh, it's exponent. Okay. Well, uh, 14 times 12 is uh, certainly a number, I think. Is that what I'm supposed to do? But it's a negative. Well, I'm assuming it's that. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, that's just great. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I probably would figure it out if I actually, like, wrote it down. But, like, who wants to do that? Okay. Five to the... That is a number. Uh, is it... Do I just add it? Is that what it is? I add it? I do! It was just addition. Ah, uh, I thought... This feels like the exact same stage from Master's Difficulty Chart, Obby. And so I thought you could... You can! Wait, did they steal that? Or is that just oddly the exact same stage? Okay. Two points are plotted on a coordinate plane. Point A is plotted at 3, negative 1, and point B is plotted at 3, 3. What is the distance in units from point A to point B? So you just... Okay. It's 4. Script... All right. They just added square root to that. <laughs> that, like, that wasn't necessarily a hard question. <laughs> you draw a triangle with one interior angle measuring 111 degrees. Which angle measures could be the measures of the other two interior? So it has to be... It has to... They bo Both of the other angles have to equal to 180, I believe. So that would mean 70... 70 would it be 79? No, it would be 69. Um, well, 68 and 1 would be the correct answer. That was really easy. Um, I feel like what I just did there was not right. It was right, actually. I was just bad at the obby. Okay. Why Why am I flying? Why? Are you... Okay. Stage 84. A cylindrical container has a height of 5 feet and a diameter of 10 feet. What is the volume in cubic feet of the t container in terms of pi? I'm going to be real with you. I don't really know. Um, okay. Well, 5 times 10 is... Uh, it's, uh, cubic feet means 3, so no, that's not correct. All right. I don't know. I don't know what I was really going for there, but the math is starting to get a little bit difficult, and I'm a little bit scared. I am going into 12th grade... And this is 8th grade math, so I shouldn't be failing right now. Uh, that's that's my point in that. Okay, I'm going to start bouncing weird. Yep, <laughs> I definitely am. I don't know why it does that. Okay. Uh, diameter of 6 feet. Okay, 60. Maybe it's 60 times 3. No? Okay, well, that's wonderful. Um, I'm assuming, well, I'm going to, I'm going to assume this in hopes that it's right. I'm assuming that it's going to give me similar answers in the same boxes. It's the, no, it's not. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Six times eight is 48. Maybe let's double it. Let's do that. <gasps> yeah. That had no logic in it. I was just guessing. Okay. Um, yes, let's, <laughs> okay, 85, uh, solve for x, x to the power of 3, 8 times 8 is 64 times 8, what's 64 times 8? 
I guess I'll go eight. Yeah, I did it. That just kind of felt like the right answer, you know? Sometimes you just feel it within your soul. Okay. Which equation represents a function that is not linear? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because there's two X's in this one. I am too good. I am just too good. I am the math wizard. I have gotten everything correct. Um, how do I do this? Am I doing some... I don't know. This This isn't necessarily working, whatever I'm trying right now. Oh, come on. I did your math problem. Now let me do the obby. I, what... <laughs> What is this? What? It, what? I'm extremely confused on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, I can't climb on that. Am I stupid? I have to be an idiot, right? Something... Can you not do that? No. Yeah. I'm supposed to climb on that, right? That's what you want me to do? That's what the game wants me to do? I don't know what else I would do, honestly. Um, <gasps> it worked that time. Oh, why is it so stubborn? I don't like that. Okay, we're fine, though. Everything's okay. Oh, let's... Oh, my God. I have to do a math problem after all this. I really do not want to get this wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Linear function... Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Linear function K passes through points 1, 0, and negative 4, negative 5. What is the rate of change in function K? Rate of change is also coming to the slope. Okay. I know what slope is. So, if it passes through 1, 0... And negative 4, negative 5. It would depend on when they pass through it, right? Right? No, it wouldn't. Uh, okay, so if it was like... <sighs> it's a 50-50 shot here. I The way they put it, makes it seem like it's negative one. But it wouldn't, no, it'd be one. It would be one. <gasps> oh, gosh, that was, that was like, I, I did not want to do that last stage again, and I was so scared that I was going to get that wrong. The way they worded it was so tricky. I'm like, that makes it sound like it's negative, but it's not. Oh, no. Oh, my, hold on. My air conditioner turned on. Shut up, air conditioner. Okay. The, the, uh, if the slope on the line is 5, what is the value of x? I, I would just do that minus 5, right? So it would be negative 4. No, it wouldn't be, apparently. <laughs> um, no, wait, no. Hold on. slope on the line is negative one no i was dumb so it's um yeah no okay if the slope of all right so nine it's negative one nine is the f space it is on the so it's going back it's going like this my camera's not flipped so um it's not going like this for you guys, but it's going like this for me. Um, which would mean at negative 2, I need to I need to add negative 11, I think. So it would be negative 12. Nope. It wouldn't be. What's Y and what's X again? X is on the left, right? And Y is on the right. <laughs> I don't like how it's not multiple choice. Okay. Four and six. And the slope of the line is two. 
Um, lie on okay. They lie on the same line. The slope of the line is two. What if the slope? If they lie on the, it would be six, right? Yeah, it's the same point. <laughs> I feel like I got really lucky there. I think that's what happened. Oh, I. Mm. It's kind of hard to tell what's design and what's not. Oh, oh, I'm okay. All right. Is this design? No, it's not. All right, I'm going underneath it. A square has coordinates negative 3, negative 8, 7, negative 8, and 7, 2. What is the missing coordinate? Okay, then. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know. These kind of seem random. Okay, so... They each have a common number that connects them. So it might be do this, then change, then do this, and then this would... Uh, we're going to be getting rid of the two. No, we're not. Got rid of that. Then we switch the negative eight. And we're going to do negative three, two. Ha ha. Finale. <laughs> well, sure. Why not? Let me just uh, take that for the thumbnail. Beautiful. All right. Well, um, I don't know if my thought process for that was right. It felt right, but at the same time, it didn't feel that easy. But at also, like, did, was I just, did I get lucky or did I actually have the right thought process there? Someone tell me in the comments if, if, if anyone even understood my thought process. <laughs> but also if that was correct or not. Ow, that kind of hurt. I don't like how I have to do this. And then I'm probably going to have to do a hard math question after it. And I can only imagine how hard this is going to get when inevitably we... I, I really do hope it stops at 12th grade. Um, because I'm, I can't do college math. I'm not in college yet. I'm not even... I haven't even done 12th grade math yet. Whoa. Hey there. What? Oh. Okay. Um... Let me just let me just take a seat real quick. I'm feeling a little bit uh okay, anyway. Here we go. I didn't even finish what I was saying. I I better get this right. <laughs> okay. Okay, everything's fine. A car is tra a car traveled 16 miles in 80 minutes. That is truly a number. The car traveled at a constant speed. If the car continued to travel at this rate, which equation can be used to determine the y, the total number of miles the car will travel in x hours? Okay, I can do this. I can do this. So a car traveled 16 miles in 80 minutes. So what is y equal? Which equation can be used to determine y, the total number of miles the car will travel? So the total number is, so we're going to multi be multiplying Okay, I don't have to figure this out. Well, I do I I just have to figure out like the equation. It's I think it's one of these two. So um hours hours hours. Okay. Um car continues to travel at this rate so 12y equals x now we're going to be looking for the solution of y because we don't want to know how many hours whatever this equals we want to know how many how many miles this is by multiplying by x oh i did it okay I am not restarting. Absolutely not. Wow. Nice. That's all for now. Uh, they've got a cool little area, like a winner's area. Wh who are you? What you doing up there? Is this the new area? 
Yeah, I can't see the map at all. Um, well, oh, that was really intense for me, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys were like screaming at me, but I figured that last one out. I probably could have figured it out quicker, but I was making sure I didn't have to redo that stage again. So uh, leave a suggestion. Um, okay, I'm happy that I did that. Um, don't go past 12th grade so I don't look dumb in videos. All right. Anyway, failed, but also success. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. This is the end of the series for now. I said that last time and like the, a video released yesterday on it. So uh, with that, I hope you'll have a perfect day and I'm Curtified signing out.